Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another review video and it is on the Goodies Low Carb Muffin Mix. Um, I have tried their low carb brownies before and I actually have a review video for that so I'll link it down below. Um, but I've seen the muffins all over Instagram because uh, the mix itself isn't sweetened so people will make them all types of different ways they'll do savory muffins or sweet muffins so I thought that I would buy a package I got mine off of Amazon by the way and just see how versatile they are so I'm gonna be making four different kinds of muffins out of this one muffin mix I'm going to do a chocolate chip muffin blueberry cinnamon streusel and lemon poppy seed, which I think is gonna be my favorite because I really like lemon stuff. But um, it doesn't seem like there's too much that goes into this mix. It says that you need um, three eggs, a third of a cup of melted coconut oil, which I'm gonna do unsalted butter, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of erythritol or choice of sweetener. So I'm gonna be making all four of my muffins are gonna be sweet, so um, I'm excited. I think that these are gonna be really good because uh, those brownies were very good, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> Let's get started. So I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees, and I also have a muffin pan that's been lined. And to make the muffin mix base, it says to mix the eggs, melted butter, vanilla extract, and sweetener in a bowl, and then add the mix and combine well. So that's what I'm gonna do. So after mixing together the muffin base, I split it evenly, as evenly as I could, between four bowls, and I have my fillings here. So I have some Lily's chocolate chips, some blueberries, some lemon zest and poppy seeds, and here I have some cinnamon mixed with my um, Lakanto Classic monk fruit erythritol type of sweetener. So I am going to mix these three in, and then, um, fill the muffin cups and for the cinnamon streusel one, I'm gonna put a little bit of the batter in each cup and then add in a swirl of the cinnamon sugar mixture and then top it with the remainder of the batter. topping on my cinnamon streusel muffins. I am just going to mix together some almond flour, melted unsalted butter, and the rest of the cinnamon erythritol mix. And then once it gets to like a wet sand texture, I'm gonna clump it up in my hands and then break it up on top of the muffins. So this is kind of the consistency I'm going for. When I squeeze it together, it stays in this clump and you can just break off chunks. And that's how you make like a streusel for coffee cake or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
So here are what the muffins look like. I have my lemon poppy seed, cinnamon streusel, blueberry, and chocolate chip. It kind of looks like all of the chocolate chips have sunk to the bottom, but that's okay. It'll still taste good. Um, I'm going to stick this in the oven. It says bake it for 18 to 20 minutes or until golden, and a toothpick comes out clean in the middle of the muffin. It also says to let them cool completely or they will fall apart. So I'm going to bake these until they are done, and then when they are completely cooled, I will come back and show you what they look like. So here are the muffins baked. We've got the blueberry, lemon poppy seed, chocolate chip, and the cinnamon streusel. And then way back here, I had a little bit left over of the lemon poppy seed and the blueberry, so I made kind of like a blueberry lemon poppy seed Frankenstein muffin. But we are going to cut these open and we're gonna give them a try. So here are the muffins. I will say that the chocolate chip muffins, all of the chocolate chips fell to the bottom of the muffin, which I kind of thought was going to happen because I think that they were just a little bit heavy. Um, the blueberries kind of did the same thing too, and the, um, the blueberry muffins are definitely uh, soggier or a little squishier, but that's okay. I am going to give them a try in order, so. You can kind of taste, um, so these mixes are made with, um, I think sunflower flour or sunflower meal or something like that. And you can kind of get like a, a little hint of sunflower in them, which I don't mind at all. It's actually really good. The blueberry is is okay. It's a little bit, it's a little wet. I don't know. I'm gonna try the lemon poppy seed. That is so good. I I'm a lemon lover though. I love all things lemon, and that is delicious. Now for the chocolate chip. I think the chocolate chip is my least favorite so far, but I think that's because I'm not really a chocolate chip muffin kind of person. But if that's what you like, these are pretty good. So now I'm going to try the um, coffee cake or cinnamon streusel, the cinnamon swirl, whatever you wanna call it. Mmm. That is my favorite. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a like a coffee cake. Like um like the coffee cake that you get at uh Starbucks. It's got oh look at that. I don't know if you can see that cinnamon swirl. I'm sure you probably can't. That is so delicious. It tastes like a like reminds me of like cinnamon toast crunch or something. This is so good. And here I have my Frankenstein muffin that I just took the rest of the batter from um, some of the bowls and there's a little lemon poppy seed, a little bit of blueberry going on. So I thought um, in the name of science, I should probably try all of them, right? Mm. Even this one that didn't have that many blueberries in it, the bottom, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's so moist. It's almost too moist that it's like soggy. That's not my favorite thing. That's kind of a bummer. So maybe blueberries aren't the way to go for this muffin mix. Or maybe I just put too many in there. I'm not sure, but I'm not mad about it. Another thing that I would like to mention is that there's a bit of um, 
an issue with the packaging here. If you look on the front of the package right here, it says one net carb per serving. But if you read the actual nutritional information, it says there's nine total carbs and seven coming from dietary fiber. And even on the back here, it does the math for you. Nine grams of carbs minus seven di dietary fiber equals two net carbs. So the front tells you that it's one net carb per serving and the back tells you the actual carb serving um, of two and I think that maybe that's some kind of like typo or misleading but I just want you guys to be aware of that in case that you're like me and you're looking on um, the website and you see the front and it just says one net carb. But obviously when you add in certain mixins like the chocolate chips and the blueberries and even the uh, cinnamon streusel because of the almond flour, you're gonna have um, more carbs than, than just what it says on the package. But these are delicious. I would absolutely recommend them. I think that they hit it out of the park again, and I'm looking forward to the next goodies mix that I give a try. So that is gonna do it for my review. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye everyone. Okay, you guys have tried all four. Which one do you like the most? Mm. Totally can choose chocolate chips. I can totally choose, can I choose both? What kind do you like most? I like, I can't choose, it's either this one or this one. The lemon poppy seed or the cinnamon streusel? Me too. What about you, no, baby? Chocolate, yeah. I can't choose, I mean, actually, chocolate chip is probably better. Chocolate chip? Okay. It's really good. Oh, okay. But you like the taste of the muffins? Mm-hmm. Cool. Do you want a bite, Daniel?